Welcome to another Warframe tip of the day. Today we'll be showing you how to get spinal core sections. Spinal core sections is a resource you can gather on demos and it can be gathered in a few different ways. The fastest and easiest way to gather spinal cores is by fishing and exchanging the fish to the daughter on demos to be cut up and spinal core will be the material given. We will be fishing for vitro spina and conjury cords. To catch these fish, you will need a fishing spear. These two fish are effectively caught using the Spari Spear or Ibisu Spear. Both spears can be bought from the daughter on Deimos. The Spari Spear is sold for 500 standings and you can be rank 0 for Deimos. The Ibisu Spear is an upgraded form of the Spari Spear. The difference is that the Ibisu Spear has a silencer. When thrown, it doesn't scare the other fish. The Ibisu Spear is sold for 5000 standings and you must be rank associate on Deimos. Next, when fishing, you will want to be able to see the fish. There are two options you can use. You can buy a luminous dye or use a companion called the Oxylus. Both devices illuminate the fish, making them a lot easier to see. The dye can be bought from Fisher Hyluck and Cetus on Earth for 100 standings each. The Oxylus blueprint is bought from the business in Fortuna for 20,000 standings and must be rank Old Mate. The Oxylus also illuminates the fish and shows hotspots on your mini-map. This companion must have the mod equipped called Scan Aquatic Lifeforms. Check out my guide on how to get the Oxylus. A link will be in the description. Next gear item that is suggested but not required is Foss and Valm Residue. This will act as bait to attract these fish. I have had the fish show up with no bait thrown, but this will give it a boost in spawn rates. Do not confuse foam and foss residue for processed foam and processed foss residue, sold by the daughter on demos. Foam and foss residue are dropped by the worm during a cycle change. When the cycle changes, the worms scatter the residue all over the map. If you manage to catch the animation during the cycle change, you'll be able to see where they drop. Volm will look blue and Foss will look orange. The Foss cycle will have Volm residue because Foss kills Volm, and the Volm cycle will have Foss residue because Volm kills Foss. A single cycle can also have both Foss and Volm residue falling on the map, depending on how long you've been in the drift. To check out which cycle you're currently in, you can open your detailed mini map, and on the lower right side will display your current cycle and a timer showing which cycle will be next. These fish do not spawn during a certain cycle though. The only reason to see which cycle you are in is for gathering residue. Let's go over Warframes. I suggest bringing a Warframe with invisibility or are immune to enemy attacks. I have two suggested Warframes I use for conservation, fishing, and mining. Loki and Ivera. Loki and Ivera can go invisible to enemies. Loki uses his invisibility ability to go undetected and his sound is also muffled, but also his vision is muffled too. His invisibility can last as long as his duration allows him. Ivera's prowl ability also has her become visible to enemies. Her invisibility lasts as long as her efficiency allows it. The difference between Loki and Ivera is that Ivera's invisibility cloak can break when performing certain maneuvers, such as sprinting or bullet jumping, which is muscle memory to Warframe. I prefer Loki over Ivera for added mobility. If you are using Ivera, you can also use your operator's void sling to maneuver around the map and stay invisible when the operator comes back into the Warframe. Fishing has a lot of waiting involved. This fish will spawn whenever, not just right away, so bringing a Warframe that can sit around is going to be your best option. Now that we have our suggested gear, let's prepare. Equip your fishing spear into your gear wheel, only if you haven't equipped one before. Once you have a spear equipped, all your collected spears will be available in your fishing gear when you set out. You do not need to equip your dies and bait. It will already be available in your fishing gear as well. Set your gameplay to solo. This is important because if you're in a squad, your squad mates may initiate a bounty or objective and you won't get to fish in peace. Let's head out to the Cambian Drift on Deimos. Chondria Cords and Vistral Spinas are cave dwelling fish, so I'll be showing you my favorite cave. Follow my waypoint. We will be heading into the Catabolic Gutter. This cave has a series of streams within it, with a chance to spawn several hot spots. If you don't have an arc wing available, there is a blink pad you can use to get to this cave quickly. The first blink pad is located right inside the entrance from the Necrolis, so you won't need to go too far to find one. Then locate the second blink pad next to the Catabolic Gutter on your minimap. When you reach the second blink pad, take a right and you will see the cave entrance. Conjury cords spawn in cave hotspots, so make sure to look for a glowing aura above the water. If you're using an oxylus, look out for little orange fish on your mini map. This indicates hotspots locations. When you get to your desired location, go into your gear wheel and select a fishing rod. When that's selected, you will see the fishing options activated on the lower right side. 
There is a fishing rod selection, bait selection, and gear. So here with the corresponding buttons, select your Sparu Spear or your Bisu Spear. Throw in your Volm or Foz Residue and Luminous Dye if you're not using an Oxylus. Here I am using an Oxylus, so I will not be throwing in the dye. Here is the waiting game. The fish will spawn eventually. The good thing about this cave is that both fish can spawn in the same location, doubling up your chances on gaining spinal core sections. When you get your desired amount of fish, head back to extraction. When you get back to Necrolis, visit the daughter. Select Cut Fish. When you cut up Contrary Cords and Visual Spinas, it will drop spinal core sections. Take note that resource boosters double your caught fish and resource drop chance boosters double the fish spawn rate, which is very important if you're fishing and do not want to take your time, at least catch double instead of catching one at a time, if that makes sense. If you do not want to fish, don't worry. I have a second option for you to try. Isolation vaults on Damals will also reward spina cores at the end of the mission. To effectively gear up for isolation vault farming, I suggest having a necromech on your team, a fast warframe, and an arc wing for gathering materials in the open map. To get your own necromech, you will have to farm isolation vaults for mech pieces kind of redundant. However, if you join a squad, let's hope someone on your team already has a mech available, so all you need to do is stay alive. So bring a Warframe that can hold its own against hordes of infested enemies. Here I am bringing Limble to perform Isolation Vaults solo, and oh man does he make soloing Isolation Vaults very, very easy. All you need to do is keep on your Stasis ability and Cataclysm. The enemies, except Eximus, will freeze and you can do all the eliminations without getting damage. And when you're running from one waypoint to another, you can have Limble stay in Rift mode to avoid any other damage. Just keep him built with duration and range. For Isolation Vaults though, I never ever suggest going into this mission solo. The Tier 1 Vaults can be performed solo with the right build, however, Tier 2 and 3 can become very, very challenging. Here's a brief guide on how to perform isolation vaults to get your spinal cord section. For those of you that haven't ran a vault yet, here's what to expect. Head to the necro list on Damals and go over to the mother and select bounties. Select an isolation vault you want to run. Go into the drift and pull out your arc wing. If you don't have an arc wing yet, you can use these jump pads scattered throughout the map. Head over to your first objective waypoint. Now you will need to collect residue. This is where I suggest bringing an arc wing or fast warframe. After you collect the residue, insert it into the mixer. Now you will need to defend it. After the defense time is up, grab the concoction and head to the next waypoint. When you reach a door, throw the potion at it. The corresponding button to throw should be displayed depending on which console you're using. When it opens, head straight inside towards the next waypoint. Here you need to defend another door. After the defense time is up, the second door will open and you will go deeper inside the belly of this beast. Head towards the next waypoint. Here you will need to defeat an enemy necromech. Shoot it down to defeat it. This is where I suggest bringing your own necromech or have someone in your squad have a mech to help defeat it. It is very, very hard and challenging and he has a lot of health. To help you easily defeat the necromech, just shoot at its arms, right at the shoulders. The shoulders will take damage and his limbs will start to fall off. When the enemy necromech is eliminated, extraction will appear. However, to get spinal cord sections, do not extract yet. You now need to find Lloyd. Lloyd is hidden in a hidden vault room which is deeper into the map. Search for his room. The room will have pillars and a puzzle on the door. You will need your operator to unlock this door. But before you can unlock the door, you will need to defend Lloyd. He will move around the map and all you need to do is keep him alive.
He will then take you back to the vault door for you to unlock. A puzzle will appear on the door. Take a mental memory of the pattern. Use your operator's void to shoot the corresponding pillars that the door shown. When you get the right pattern, the door will open up into the treasure room. Break all the containers to hopefully get a spinal cord section to drop. Extract to claim your rewards. If you've been performing isolation vaults without realizing they drop spinal cord sections, you may end up already having them in your inventory. This is not the fastest or easiest method compared to fishing, but I mention it in case you'll be running isolation vaults and you have the knowledge that you can get spinal cords by completing the mission. And there you have it, another Warframe tip of the day. Let me know in the comments if this guide helped you. Hit that like and thanks button, and for more Warframe tips, hit that subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for another Warframe tip of the day.